I think it's just been the attitude of the playing group. Uh, it's been really exciting to see a new group of players come in and, and step up to the level already in terms of their training habits. So that's been a real highlight. And then, then some of the practice matches that we've played, we've been really competitive. So it's been a good start to the year. Yeah, it's a great initiative by AFL Victoria and Maribyrnong to have a, a coach based here and uh, basically I'm looking after the players that are involved in the Maribyrnong football program, um, both uh, looking after their, I suppose, their, their football side of things and, and, and having to do a bit with their, their welfare and their, their personal development. So it's a great program and I'm really enjoying it. Well, we've got a lot of new players into the program, so we've probably got um, nearly 30 players on, on our, out of our 50 on the bottom eight, as a bottom age player. So, um, for a lot of the players, we'll be learning the learning the system really early. But um, we'd like to be competitive. Um, hopefully, at the end of the year, we, we can get some players um, onto AFL lists, and um, and we just want the players to enjoy the enjoy the the, 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 the time in the program. We've had a couple of boys who have um, had some injuries over their time in the TAC, so it's a great rule to, to allow those players to come back and play in their 19th year. So a boy like Mitch Norton, who um, dominated as a 17-year-old, unfortunately didn't play a lot of football last year. Uh, he gets his, his opportunities as a 9-year-old. Another boy, Lockie Knight as well, who did, had a shoulder reconstruction last year, um, and he gets, uh, he gets an opportunity as a 9-year-old as well as Braden Monk, who won our best and fairest at 18-year-old. So um, there's a few of the nine-year-old boys who, who we hope to really go well. Yeah, I think um, obviously the boys in their draft age year, um, Jacob Hickey and, and Daniel Foley played a lot of football as, a, as bottom age players. Uh, they're both in the Vic Metro squad. Um, so you know, we hope that, that we're high hopes for them. Uh, Tyler Vajanic is another player who um, a great set of hands and a really um, a real, a real player that we're looking for big things this year. Thank you.